Almost a month after Hurricane Helene, many businesses in Brooks County are still recovering and working through the aftermath and destruction left behind. That's right, Carla, and one equipment business has just reopened while waiting for federal funds to assist in the reconstruction of their building. WALB News 10's Brittany Blake spoke with that business about how they're moving forward with recovery efforts. So it's more than just a coffee house, and it's really a place for the entire community to come. It's the only coffee house in this community. After being closed for three weeks due to damage from Hurricane Helene, Real Coffee in downtown Quitman has finally reopened for to-go and mobile orders as they continue to work through reconstruction. By the grace of God, our whole coffee espresso maker and all of our machinery was not damaged. It did not get rained on like the rest of the building. The coffee house has to replace the roof, floors, drywall, and paint, but they are waiting on the release of additional funds from the Small Business Administration to assist in the recovery process. Hopefully they'll be available after the election. Um, They've been really proactive, SBA has, in terms of helping us get applications in, get everything pre-approved so that when those funds do come available, uh, they'll, they'll be ready to go and we definitely could use it. Corn Gold says they have been able to work with the owner of the building to assist in getting work done before funds are approved in order to be ready to open for the holiday season. In the next couple of weeks, they'll all be done and hopefully by into November, we'll be ready for our, our big kickoff event where we can welcome everybody back in here. Brooks County EMA said they are working to bring a disaster recovery center to Brooks County for residents and businesses to speak with federal agents about disaster recovery. Brittany Blake, WAOB, your hometown news source.